Have a look at it with me. Y is greater than the square root, Jake, of 25 minus x squared. Okay. Now, what's our normal approach for doing this? There are really kind of two steps we've been using so far. Firstly, we think about the boundary, right? Where is the boundary? So you have a look at this guy. Do you recognize what this shape is going to be if I change the inequality for an equal sign? This is a semicircle, right? What kind of semicircle is it? It's the, it's the top half, right? Because by definition, we define the square root of blah, 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 the real numbers anyway, to be positive. If I wanted to be the bottom half, what would I do? I'd, I'd slap a minus sign on there, right? And then you get the other thing, okay? For now, though, I've got this part, and it's dotted, isn't it? So I'm going to do that. Okay? Now, it passes through the coordinate axes. It's some important points. What are they? Five and... Five and so far so good. Now let's think about testing. Give me a point to test. Wherever I possibly can, I will test the origin. If it doesn't lie on the boundary, or if it doesn't represent some discontinuity, such as over here. Okay. So if I test zero zero, rather than I'll get to I'll get to your point in a minute. If I test 0, 0, does the origin satisfy this inequality or not? It does not, because 0 is not greater than 5. Right? Does that agree? Okay. So I know that this area down here is not going to be in here. Right? Now my question to you is, what is the rest of the area? What is the other side that I get? Is it going to look like this? Because it's a little bit weird, right? Like, unlike all these guys, right? This does not actually divide up the coordinate axes into anything, right? Because it's it's open. There's no inside or outside. Like, the inside is the outside, right? You don't pass through any boundaries to do that, okay? So, what is the outside? Yeah. If you think back to this rule of thumb that I've been trying to communicate across to you, when y is the subject, a greater than indicates above and a less than indicates below, right? What you're going to find is something a little bit weird. You can get these spots up here. These are all fine. But it doesn't just go forever. For example, this point over here isn't going to work, nor is this one. Why not? Think, think carefully. My clue is to have a look at this right hand side. Think about it, yeah. Because you can't have um, the x squared be greater than the you can't have the x squared be greater than the 25. This is why this idea comes after all that stuff we looked at with range and domain. Do you remember that? Look, nothing has been said, but there is a domain restriction that has been implied just by saying the square root of 25 minus x squared. Okay, what is the range restriction? You, you can see it. I've drawn it, right? Uh, it's got to be greater than negative 5, but it's got to be less than positive 5. Okay. So therefore, implied in here are some extra boundaries, jerks, like this. What are the equations? Oh, I missed, but you get the idea. What are the equations of these boundaries? X equals negative 5 and... So I'm deliberately showing you this guy and this guy to help you remember. All the stuff you've done on domain restrictions is important. x equals zero was not told to you as something that would be, be a boundary, but it is just like x equals negative five and five, okay? Last thing to put on here, because we have this correct region in here, it really is everywhere, including these up to the edges, right? Something I haven't really been talking about because it hasn't been relevant yet, um, there are not just boundary lines, there are also, if you look carefully, some boundary points. Did you notice that? See, these guys come together and they meet at what coordinates? Negative 5, 0. There's a boundary point there. And 5, 0. That is also a boundary point. Are they going to be included in my inequality or not? They're not going to be included. Are they? So I'm going to leave them hollow just like I would on a number line. Okay. Last thing, just to um, finish this off, what if I had said this? What would it look like now? So for starters, I think you've, you've sort of clued in, oh, okay, this boundary here, that's going to be filled, isn't it? 
like that. Okay. What about a value like this? This boundary point, will it work? L look, is 0 greater than or equal to the square root of 25 minus 25? And the answer is, yes it is, it's exactly equal. So this would be included, and then this would be included, and if you extend that logic, look carefully, therefore all of this will also be included, right? And all of this will also be included because the right hand side will always be zero and the left hand side will just increase and increase forever. Does that make sense? Yeah. 